good morning. Um, today, we're going on a hike. We are in Banff, Alberta, Canada, which is awesome. We're going to hike to the, we're going to attempt to hike to the peak of Sulphur Mountain. Um, it's like maybe a total of like eight miles, nine miles, I don't know exactly. But we're going to give it a go. So, push me luck. Um, just got done eating breakfast. Um, it was free. <laughs> because, you know, I'm working. And just want to show you the view from my room. Because, <laughs> mmm, that's some view there. But we're going up there to the left some. It's the goal for the day, but... Yeah, that's Banff. Went into town last night. Might go back again later, but we'll see how I, long this hike takes. It's only 9.30, so let's go get a move on. Here we go. All righty. And we're off, sort of. I got a, the tr trailhead's right up over here. Stocked up on some <laughs> caffeine. Got some Gatorades, some cliff bars and all that so plenty of water should be good to go I hope um I think the angle is like way up there so <laughs> this is gonna be a fun time I hope my legs are ready but yeah let's get going Oh boy. Woo! Been walking for about like 10 minutes. The altitude. It's not even that really. It's more just uphill, like the whole way. Like I came from down there. It's gotta keep going up. And it says it too, so yeah. Um can't really see much out there right now. But so quiet and so nice except for me going <sighs> but yeah <sighs> we're gonna keep going yeah so the cool thing about traveling is you run into people you all normally won't down a bit I ran into an 84 year old man from Austria who is walking up this on the same hill as me he was the sweetest man ever um, we got to talking about um, just how I thought I heard something just how cool traveling is and then we got to talk of, of, about soccer um he grew up during world war two um and he was telling me about how the team he likes in austria beat a german side um Schalke, who are still in the German league um now how his Austrian side won the German cup in uh, what year was it? I forget but they still talk about it now and he was so happy when he was telling me that and it was just so cool to hear from like hear from everyone all over the place and he was just so sweet and we took a f f photo and I'm gonna hold on to that because man he was so cool wow I can't talk because I'm breathing so much look at this view but he was so sweet 
and that was so cool so yeah so right here there's a gondola up to the top which is kind of where I'm going sort of but that is part of the tour tomorrow so I can just go on it tomorrow for free but uh stop for some water because I haven't had any yet since I began and that was about I don't know 20 30 minutes ago the Austrian guy said uh I'll know when I get halfway there when I see a waterfall and after that waterfall it's an hour and a half to the top so quite a long journey ahead of me so far so but we're gonna keep on stopping I'll get some views for you guys but uh it's really nice out right now I had to take off my sweatshirt because I was getting hot but yeah 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 we're moving oh yeah I do want to add that uh the old the old um, Austrian man uh, was saying how a few weeks ago he ran into guys up here from Nepal they were on um, Sherpas and they had these big bags on and they were walking freaking barefoot which I mean this terrain's pretty rocky but that's just how they do it and he was like how do you guys do this and all but it was crazy what's happening here acorns are falling there must be a chipmunk up there oh there is you can't oh there's a squirrel up here and he's throwing all these acorns down <laughs> what a genius he's out here getting fat for the for on winter <laughs> my man up there always on the grind I guess running through the last of my thoughts standing on the edge of my child everything I know will be gone in a minute and that's all The terrain is getting rocky. Very hard to walk. Um, still think I have a ways to go. <laughs> what sucks, but I'll probably stop soon for a snack or something. Um, I don't know, man. Can't really see much through here, but. Not much of a view at the moment, but once again, it smells like Christmas, so I guess that's something kind of neat, but just working our way up. Heavy breathing, heavy breathing. Who, who in their right mind will do this? This incline freaking sucks. Going crazy, I guess. Whew. Man, this is honestly one of the most brutal hikes I've ever done. But it'll be worth it, I hope.
Alrighty, so I made the top. I literally began all the way down there. Um, I'm proud of myself, but I still gotta go all the way over there, I think is the plan. So let's get going. We made it up to the peak, the uh, gondola thing is right there. And uh, the hike up was well worth it because that's, that's the view. And I'm cold, I'm sweaty, but it was, wow, it was speechless. Yeah, I'll keep you on the view. It's better looking than I am. But uh, going the hike that way up to a peak. I'm just going to sit there for a bit. And yeah, I got up here in about two hours, a little less than maybe, but it's pretty dope so far. I'm very happy. Yeah. A side note. The Gatorade is in French. Fruit sauvage. That's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. Back to the view. Back to the view. summit of Sulphur Mountain, I think it's called. <laughs> um, it's freezing. Um, you can't even see my face probably, but uh, um, I don't have any words. I don't have any words. A snowball at me. <laughs> well, this is my friend Tyler. <laughs> he's from Australia, so he's not my friend. He's my bloke. bloke. My mate. bloke. No, it's mate. Mate. What's a bloke then? Bloke is the guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Mate is a friend. All right. <laughs> All right. But yeah. <laughs> I met him over there. <laughs> and now we're up here. <laughs> yeah. So we started all the way down there. Like all the way up. Zigzagging all the way up. Got up to here. Walked over here. And now I'm freezing. <laughs> yeah. But uh well. I'm living. said bye to my friend uh, he was really cool nice to talk to everybody 
like like I said before, people are super are super super cool. So, um, we're up on top of this mountain. I I I. <laughs> I'm in love, I guess you can say. I'm gonna try to get over to this mountain. We'll see how far I get. I don't know if I'm in the mood for it. But uh yeah. This day has been probably the best. One of the best ever, so I'm real happy. Yeah. We're we're out here. Here's uh some of the terrain I'm working with it's pretty rocky the guy back up there um he said that he has been to the peak over there where I'm going now uh, um, a lot so he kind of told me what what to do and respect the respect the edges which I will happily do trying to be safe out here but uh gonna stop real quick more of this view keep in mind though I began all the way down there the altitude sucks but it was cold but now it's quite warm so I might need to shed this sweatshirt up again but I gotta keep on moving watch out for any wildlife that might want to get me so so my mom's gonna hate me for on this one because the trail that's not really a trail but uh I'm I can walk right here there's a big area here where I can fall less of of an area but uh it's kind of what I'm gonna be doing a bit here sorry mom love you I'll be safe you know all the rest alrighty well I reached the peak that I wanted to, to go to um, um, before I was over here walked all here all the all the way up here and it was worth it the view is that much better um i'll give a quick a quick look around i'm so tired yeah Had to add one on there. I did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can say that I peaked. You know? Wink wink. Um Life School. Life School. This is, I came up here for work and yeah, I'm grateful for that. All the things I get to do and see. I know I've been showing you the same view, but it's, it's breathtaking, so. I don't know when I'll be back up here in Canada next, but it definitely has my heart, you know. But I'm dying to go get some food down in town, but that'll be a few hours before I do that. I have quite the journey left ahead of me to go down, so.
thinking I'm gonna end the video here um because doesn't it's not gonna get that much better than this I'm just gonna end up walking down and um going to get some food maybe take you through some parts of town but I'm not sure but this has been a wild journey up to here so I hope you enjoyed and give you one last view of everything quite the views quite the views so thanks for watching hope it was an experience as it was for me so all I can say is travel more travel more travel more there's so much out there to see besides home. So, thanks for watching and peace out everybody from Canada. Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chair So I'm walking down from the other peak that I was at and my my boy Tyler wanted so badly to make a snowman and I'm assuming that's him. That's his work. He lives his <laughs> He lived it out. His dream is fulfilled. Wow, I'm, I'm glad that I found this. That's lovely. I gotta send this to him. <laughs> Back to the walk down. This is cool.